Aloha and welcome to HOMA's Elements of Art series. In this video, we will survey the basics of shape while enjoying an array of artwork from the museum's collection, each piece illustrating the dynamic potential of shape. Pause the video at any time so that your group may reflect and respond. Shape is one of the seven elements of art. These elements are the building blocks used by artists during the creation process. They are a great starting point for the adventure of analyzing, interpreting, and thinking about art. In visual art, shapes have two dimensions, length and width, not height, which is to say that they are flat. Shape builds on line and color and is made from one or both of these elements. Shapes appear when a line connects with its own end or intersects with another, enclosing an area. A change of color or texture in an area can also set it apart as a shape. Do you see the color shapes here? What about those shapes that are made by texture? There are an infinite number of shapes. So that we can talk about that infinite number, we generally separate shapes into two categories geometric and organic. Geometric shapes are rigid and regular. We see them often and recognize them when we do. Friendly neighborhood shapes, such as circles, squares, and triangles, fit into this category. Hexagons, too. Have a look around your space. Do you see any geometric shapes nearby? Shapes that we describe as organic are free form and usually one of a kind. Organic shapes are generally soft, relaxed, irregular, and have curved lines. A shape that is bounded by curved lines or edges is also known as a curvilinear shape. The most common shapes in nature are organic, Have a look around your space. Do you see any organic shapes nearby? While we use these two categories, geometric and organic, to approach shapes, there is no clear-cut division between the two, and many artists employ shape across both categories. A biomorphic shape is an organic curvilinear one that feels strangely familiar and seems to have the appearance or qualities of a living thing, but is unrecognizable as one.
Shapes inherit the quality of the lines that were used to create them. A portrait is a picture of an individual person or a group of people. These are both portraits of individuals. How do these artists' choices about shape affect the way that you perceive their subjects? What would a conversation be like with the person on the right? Composition refers to the organization or arrangement of formal elements within a work of art. Basically, where did the artist choose to put the things that make up the artwork? How do artists use shape in a composition? How are the shapes directing your attention through this work? Shapes can be used to organize a composition. Can you find the suggestion of geometric shapes in this portrait? Where do you see them? Look for a square, a rectangle or two, some ovals, and possibly a triangular shape. Repetition of a specific shape or set of shapes is one way to create pattern, which is an important principle of design. What geometric shapes do you see repeated here? Is there an organic shape that is repeated? For this contemporary iteration of an ahuula, Artist Kapulani Landgraf creates a pattern from photographs of her own eyes. What organic shapes do you see repeated here? Have a look around your space. Can you find a pattern? Try to locate a specific shape that is the basis for that pattern. A symmetrical shape is one that can be divided in half so that the two halves match exactly. All other shapes are considered asymmetrical. Contrast occurs when two or more related elements are strikingly different. Contrast is an important principle of design and is used as a way to create variety, visual interest, and tension. 
contrast focuses on difference in related elements. For example, light and dark, large and small, near or far. Let's look at some examples of how shape can be involved with creating contrast. Organic shapes contrasted to geometric shapes. Large shapes contrasted to small or thin shapes. Smooth shapes contrasted to textured shapes. And lighter shapes contrasted to darker shapes. Contrast can help us discuss the space of shapes. Any shape appearing on a flat picture surface or picture plane automatically creates a second shape out of the background area. This second shape is referred to as the negative shape or the ground shape. The first shape that we see is referred to as the positive shape or the figure shape. In this image, the white background shape is the negative shape, while the black shape is the positive figure shape. Figure shapes create ground shapes. Interactions between figure and ground shapes are referred to as the figure-ground relationship. If you were making an artwork inspired by your favorite neighborhood walk, how would you choose to represent the experience of being there? What shapes might you make? The next time you're exploring at the museum, visit with shapes in the artwork that you see and take note of their diversity.